jealous, the reason is no telling. Talking about a nigga for sure, they so Ellen. All these girls around we can share, I'm so willing. The hate leave you up, shit's creep. Don Benjamin, you, yes, be, you become sort of like the unofficial sixth god of Toronto. You've been here a couple times now. <laughs> I want to hear the craziest story in Toronto, woman wise. Oh man. Craziest um, story. The craziest? Yeah. I mean, other than like girls showing up to my hotel room. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, last time I was out here, a few girls followed us back, man, and were like waiting yeah. outside my hotel room before I even got there. I don't know how they knew what room I was at, but. They got there. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and this is a perfect segue to the music. Why do you got to be judged when there's all these girls around? Yeah. You and Eric Banja did a track. Just talk about how that track came about in your little music career that's coming along. Yeah, man. Um, I was actually in the studio with my boy, and. Um, we was just in there talking about like girls and why like they always think we're up to something. Like most of the time we just playing video games, you know what I'm saying? Something. So we was talking and then my man started like kinda like singing like some some melodies and stuff and then we just was like, yo, let's make this record real quick, talking uh, about jealousy. So something that just came up I guess. Yeah, it just came up randomly. Phenomenal. And then uh I played it for Eric and he was feeling it. He's like, yo man, let me hop on this. So yeah. uh, I let Eric hop on it and the rest was history. And I know you tweet a lot of Drake stuff on Twitter. Are you a big fan of Champagne Poppy? Do you want a collaboration? We can make that happen. Do you oh, want Oh, yeah, one? you can make it happen. Yeah. yeah, tell Drake I'm trying to work, man. Okay. Drake is the, I think he's the dopest artist out right now. Like, he's not That's missing. Definitely. So, sure. yeah, Drake is crazy right now, fam. Every track is Hot. goes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play some Twitter mania right now. I've been on your social media. You tweet a lot of stuff. First thing you tweeted was "Roll life. You've been suitcase living for the last couple months. Talk about how hard that is, man. Man, uh, it's, I'm so used to it now. When, okay. I, get, when I get home, I'm yeah. like, I've got to get back on the road. For like, sure. I'm, I'm so busy. Like, we was in Europe last week. Wow. We are uh, going to Montreal tomorrow. We're going to the Caribbean in a couple weeks. Back to Europe, Australia. Oh. So, pretty much, man, I'm living out of suitcase right now. Uh, do some shopping, you know what I'm saying, get some new stuff. I got you. I know you like to pull up to people's house unannounced. Yeah. Have, you, have, you, have you been doing that? Have you been doing that? And girls, you'd be lucky if you'd be doing that. Yo, I don't, I don't do it. No. But uh, I've seen a couple, this girl did it to one of my boys wow. the other day, so I was thinking, like, I want to put out, like, what would you do? Like, what would these girls do if I just showed up unannounced Correct. to their crib, man? I'd be like, crazy. <laughs> I just want to do it one time, just show up to a girl and They're see what she's talking about. Crazy. And there was this gas dude that really pissed you off. I think it was a couple weeks ago. He didn't come to your house. You were getting really hot. Did <laughs> yeah. this guy end up coming? What was the deal with him? Bro, they still haven't came what? yet. I still don't have no hot water in my crib. Are you serious? Yeah. You're never home, so I guess it's fine. I'm never home, so it doesn't really hurt, but... Yeah, like when I'm home, I'll be having to take showers at girls' cribs or like the at the 24-hour fitness until they come fix my damn hot water. Are you serious? Yeah, man. That's crazy. I know you like to stun your exes. Dude, <laughs> I, I know you love doing that. I think we all love doing that. What's an ex I did that you might be stunning on right now? I don't know if you want to name names, but if you want, go for it. Uh, I got an ex that I was talking to when I first came out here. Okay. And she was kind of... Toronto? Like, or no, no, oh, my oh, bad. L.A. When, okay, I first, when I first moved to L.A. <laughs> oh, they be going crazy. No, when I first moved to L.A., yeah. man... Um, I had an ex and she was kind of taking care of me and wow. you know you shit throw stuff in your face and now I'm on so like I don't need nobody to financially provide so yeah, for sure. you know and I might roll by her crib yeah. every once in a while. And I know one way. thing that really pisses you off when people are on social media all day but they don't respond to the text. Yeah. I think we all get mad about that. Just <laughs> tell me a little bit about that. Bro that's the worst like if Most you know what I'm saying you text somebody trying to see what's up and then you see and then you see them go right on Instagram or on Twitter and yeah. say something. It's like. Everybody's on their phones nowadays all day. Like, look at my man over there on his phone. On his phone, right? All, Jimson's on the phone, right? <laughs> all day on their phones, yeah, but yet crazy. they can't reply to a text, man. That pissed me off. I know. And um, there was one thing is you were in a Uber car recently, yeah. and the dude was blasting Kanye, right? And he was really pissing in you off. And the headphones, just talk about that. I know that really pissed you off. Yo, yeah, my man, <laughs> my man was driving me around in the Uber, and he had the music playing in the headphones. No way. But it was dead silent in the car, so I just had to, like, hear what he was enjoying. Wow, that's crazy. Cold that sucks. Selfish. Cool. selfish. Most selfish. definitely. And one more thing before you go to Insta Blast. I know recently. Recently, right? It was pretty, really funny. You're in England, yeah. and the American dollar wasn't adding up out there. Yeah. I guess you're, the currency is pretty bad. The exchange, right? Yeah, man. I was in the strip club, and I took out like 150, uh, what is it, pounds out there? Yeah. And it cost me like 300 American dollars to take out the 150 pounds. So you couldn't even blow out there? Nah, I couldn't stunt that hard, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have to play some Insta Blast. Yeah. <laughs> Cool photo here, 50 Shades of Grey, big, 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 big deal. Just talk about yeah. this. Just hold that up for uh, you. Oh man, one. this one right here. Huge shoot. You know, uh, yeah, they reached out to me to um, promote the, the new movie, 50 Shades of Grey. They want to do it with some young black talent, so okay. uh, they put me in it. 
they threw Shorty on my shoulders, you know wow. what I'm saying? You can't it was it was it was hard to look straight, man, because her body was so nice. I like I wanted to just like yeah. admire the ass yeah. on my shoulder. It's but crazy. but yeah, man, it was a good shoot. It was fun. Throw that away. Now this is a really cool photo. You see here in a girl, what, what, what's happening right here? Just tell me what's up. You seem to be giving her a weird face. I know it's a shoot, this but what's going like, through your mind? This is like the epitome of a relationship, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you try to bring some roses home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Try to be nice, and the girl's still complaining about a situation. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, at the end of the day, you're like, what can I do? What can I do to be right, man? So, this has happened in real life to you, though? This has happened before, yeah. And you know what? Throw it away. <laughs> and um, this is a really cool photo. This is Don Benjamin back in high school, correct? That's back young Don. Don Benjamin. I want to ask you a quick question. It might be a little personal. Yeah. What's the difference between this Don Benjamin and now? And I want to know how much, let's say, girls you had banged then. Yeah. How much girls you're banging now? What's the total? What's the total number we're looking at? Man. Are you in the thousands, man? Nah, man. Hundreds? Maybe I'm at like ten. Ten hundred? No, nah, just like ten or fifteen. Get the fuck out! Of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Of here. Now this is a little cool photo here. Keisha Cole. I know you did a music video with her. Is there anything more than that? Nah, nothing more than you that. Sure? Yeah. Promise me. I that? wish, man. Keisha's bad. But I, she's back with she's back with her dude. G though. Gibson. Yeah, no way. You probably know that. We. Oh. I mean, they've been they've been like together in pictures and stuff. Really? They've been pretty open about it. Damn. Yeah. And you know what? This is a really cool photo. Our man Chris Brown. This is a really cool, fun fact. Yeah. You were a photo double with him in a couple yeah. of films. So just tell us about that. You and CB. Yeah, man. Um, I was his photo double on this Christmas okay. back in the day, and then uh, he did one. Uh, uh, Battlefield, a, right? Yeah, the Battle yeah. Battle of the Year. So I was his Crazy. photo double for both of the movies, wow. man. That's so. Have you met him? You guys have a personal relationship? I mean, we don't have a personal relationship. We but cool, cool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I worked with him yeah. both movies for like two, three months at a time. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah, that's a quick fun fact right there. And I know you're really good at basketball. Absolutely, yeah, I've seen I you play. play ball. Ball. I've seen your Instagram. You can really ball. Yeah, I really ball. Um, tell me how good you were. Would you play back in high school? And are you better than CB too? <laughs> He's good too. Man, Chris is nice. Yeah, he's nice. I mean, I still want to play him one on one. We played in a little uh, celebrity I game together, say, right? and he was kind of going to work on me. Yeah, oh. I was kind of rusty, but uh, yeah, I used to play in high school, man. I was actually like, I was top 10 uh, leading scores in the state of Minnesota. Wow, that's phenomenal. Yeah, I was like my senior captain, uh, honorable mention and stuff. Yeah. So. And speaking of Minnesota, I know you wanted a promoter to book you out there. and You haven't had that homecoming yet. Have you yeah. got booked out there? I haven't got that much. Oh, you guys suck. Nah, man, they tripping. I haven't really? got no they're they're hating, man. The thing with Minnesota is they don't want to pay. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They're they want cheap. They want you to come through and just do it for hometown love. They don't want to put no money up, but it ain't happening. With you gotta pay, man. You gotta show those racks. Too busy. Yeah, that's right. We got a couple more photos here before we let you go. Read this out for us. It was pretty cool. I found it online. It was pretty hilarious. Just I will to... chase my dreams till I blow my knees out. Are your knees almost blown out? They are not almost blown out, but they are hurting some days. I've really? been chasing a lot of paper lately. <laughs> paper chasing, right? Yeah. We got two more photos before we let you go. Your mother, she got a tattoo DB. Yeah. This must have been very special to you, right? Yeah, man. I got my mom's name tatted on me, and then uh, she came out to visit. I took her to my tattoo artist to wow. get something else. She got another and one too, right? Was there, yeah, she ended up getting my initials. So. Wow, and one more before we let you go. DJ Khaled, this is something that was really big in the <laughs> summertime. Hold this up, and you know what? I want your perfect impersonation of that. You got to do it. Yo, you small, you loyal, yo, go buy your family a car, go buy your mother a car, you loyal, you smart. <laughs>